Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now. This is going to be on Twin Flames, okay? So I'm still very busy in terms of my schedule and recovery, etc. So I just want to say that um, in the videos, I'm just going to be doing a handful every day and taking it a bit easy until I feel better. Okay. So what I see from the cards is an indication here that something may have happened between you and your twin flame, okay? I feel like there are emotions of feeling a sense of sadness. There's something that happened that made one or perhaps the two of you look at the situation and feel a sense of remorse and regret. And I feel like this could be that uh, one or the both of you are feeling, you know, absolutely disappointed by something that has happened. So I feel like someone feels let down. Someone could be feeling used or taken for granted or perhaps they're feeling like, you know, more could have been done in terms of this relationship. And so I feel like in the course of the relationship, the two of you may have made mistakes or things may have happened that, um, you know, hurt the connection of the twin flame union, okay? So I'm also noticing that there's a lot of caution in the air. There's a lot of caution and fear of, you know, what has been left in the situation. So I feel like the two of you are unable to navigate around your emotions. And so both you and this individual, your twin flame, are feeling very wary of each other's presence and afraid of um, something, you know. So I definitely feel like on the cards that, uh, you know, things didn't work out the way you wanted it to. And now both you and this individual are afraid of either... Uh, moving forward, taking chances or, you know, doing things that can potentially bring the two of you together. So I feel like it's revolving around that sort of phrase, you know, once bitten, twice shy, etc. I think it goes like that. But I definitely do get the impression that uh, someone is feeling burned. Now... Before I go deeper into those cards, I want to look at the balance of the cards and give you a brief overview of what happened or what's going on. There was a lot of happiness when the two of you came together. There was a lot of joy. And I feel like you really felt like this person completed you and they felt like you completed them. So the connection was very, very powerful, very potent, very strong. Something that cannot be ignored, something that cannot be denied. But these cards here particularly are indicating to me that, you know, there was a lot of happiness and harmony and a lot of things that um, deeply... Uh, impacted your life and impacted their life and so the happiness was truly something that uh, you know brought the two of you together it was like a joy that was felt as a result of their presence in your life and your presence in their life and I feel like a lot of happiness was derived from the memories and maybe that connection that the two of you shared was from a past life because I'm definitely getting the impression that the two of you, you know, spent one or many past lives together where both you and this individual led a happy life. So I'm very interested in knowing, you know, where did this pain come from? What was the source of it? What was the cause of it, you know? And here we see that in terms of the situation, going forward, it feels like the future is blocked. And the future is not being given an opportunity to be expanded upon, not being given an opportunity to live out its purpose, okay? 
So before I continue, I'd like to inform you guys that it's important for you to watch your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus on this channel. You can find all of those videos. There's plenty of videos for October 2019. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. I am still doing personal readings, even though I took a short break. Okay, so let's see. We're going to clarify the cards now. I feel like there's so many difficult emotions accumulated during the course of the relationship or perhaps from a past life experience that it's difficult for the two of you to move forward. So there's definitely a blockage there. What I see from the cards is a very stubborn sort of energy, okay? And there's this energy of conflict. There's this energy of feeling like a sense of silliness or something that happened. There's also confusion. So if you hear any noise, it's obviously going to be animals, okay? So just ignore it. Now, what I'm noticing from these cards is, you know, there's this energy of not being able to see past this because there's this idea inside of someone's head. And there's a difficulty to detach from that sort of, you know, illusion because it keeps the two of you, you know, at this stage of a limbo. It doesn't allow the two of you to move forward. So I can see why there's a blockage here in terms of the future and not having, you know, the ability to sustain it, not having the ability to take it further, even though there's so much beauty in the union and so much beauty in the connection between the two of you. So I do get the impression that from the cards alone, that, you know, in terms of this connection, there are things that are preventing the two of you from coming together. There are elements that are not allowing the two of you for having that happiness that both of you deserve. And it could be because the two of you have two very different interpretations of one, one another, potentially. And um, there's another thing I want to say. There's also the possibility of having different expectations of each other. So what I'm sensing is that there is the past influences of the twin flame connection interfering with the future or the present, uh, you know, connection with your twin flame. So that could be something that's occurring where, you know, the past had an impact upon how you are interpreting the future or the present and the present is having, uh, you know, an influence of your current memories now influencing how your soul is interpreting the past. It's very complicated, but I feel like that's where the misery is coming here from for the two of you. And it's definitely a very confusing situation to be in, especially if you're from the Libra Zodiac sign. Now, let's see. There's definitely a very powerful connection here. I do feel like, you know... In terms of the energy, there is a sign from the cards that uh, the two of you led a few happy lifetimes together. And uh, I feel like your souls are feeling imbalanced now because, you know, the memories of the past were perhaps even greater than the memories that are present right now. And you, your soul and their soul could be expecting those memories to be returned or, you know, those type of feelings to come back, but it's going to be a different experience because it's a different lifetime. I am picking up some very deep sort of energies. It is far more complicated than I anticipated and you guys can imagine why this gets so exhausting to do. So from these cards, I see that, uh, you know, the happiness and the joy is definitely something that ties the two of you together. There's a lot more in terms of the energy that I'm seeing for the two of you. But if the two of you can work through the difficulties that you have, 
there is a very strong possibility of, you know, making this union a very powerful one. So I do see hope in terms of the situation, but it's a very complicated connection that you're sharing with this individual. It is something that is beyond your understanding at this point of time. You know, in terms of the complexities, you could have an understanding of it to a certain degree, but I feel like it's going to require a lot more spiritual work to fully understand and comprehend it. So if you guys are interested in the extended, which is going to be covering the feelings and the emotions of the individual you're dealing with from the 1st until the 7th of October 2019, you can find the links in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetaroempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.